Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to say all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Um, I can't call this a response video because it's kind of old, but I'm um, just dwelling on the question, you know, that the Apostle Elder Taha had asked on a live show. It probably was about about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. I, I don't know. But um, I remember I had um, I had wrote, wrote it down. I had wrote the question down and I was just thinking about it. You no. Know, you know, uh, brothers probably responded to it and made videos already. I, you know, I didn't see any. You know, I just it just was on my spirit because I had wrote the question down and it just was on my spirit to go into it a little bit. You know, um, this is um, the book of Job 22 and 3. And it said, um, is it any pleasure? And this is a question that was posed to uh, Job. It said, is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous? Or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? And um, the answer is yes. Uh, of course it is. You know, that's the purpose of us out here um, doing this, um, this is what we're doing, the work. You know, ultimately we want salvation. You know, but we have to please the Lord, you know, and be righteous to, to get that salvation. All right? Because uh, Job, Job was upright. He was a righteous man. You know, this is, um, I'm going to get the scripture to prove, uh, you know, we please the Lord, man. And we can please the Lord, man. It's, I mean, there's guys out here who who's, who say they serve the Lord, you know. They, they ain't pleasing the Lord, you know. They, they A lot of them pleasing their own belly. But that's that's, that's a whole other thing. Um, we get a few precepts on it. This is Psalms 1, I think it's 40. Yeah, this is Psalms 147. And I'm going to read verses 10 and 11. It says, uh, He delighted not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. Yahweh take it pleasure. Take it pleasure. You know, being pleased. Yahweh take it pleasure in them that fear him. And those that hope in his mercy. And the fear of the Lord, you know, is, uh, you know, being righteous, man. So our righteousness, you know, you know, hey, us, us, you know, being righteous, you know, that does please the Lord. We can never do enough. You know, that's why the scripture says our uh, righteousness are filthy rags. But, you know, in this, this chaotic ass world, in this captivity that the Most High put us in, you know, by us being righteous, that, that, that pleases him. You know, hopefully he, we be at a hopeful elect and he deliver us out this filthy place. So if you doing the work and, and the law, statutes and commandments and you keeping them to the best of your ability, uh, continue to do that, you know, continue to please your how about Shimmy how shot. Um I had another one written down. Let me see. Uh -huh. Let me see. Fourteen. Let me get to it. Cause uh yeah. I ain't really had nothing written down. You know, a couple of them. You know, and some, you know, pop to my mind. But um, it's just all in the spirit, man. You know, it's all in the spirit. Um, oh yeah, that was that was the one. That was one. Okay, let's go to the book of Hebrews. All right, basically going back in the, the proof of the uh, pleasing the Most High and doing the work. Yeah, this is Hebrews ten. And um, this is Hebrews 10 and uh, verse um, 30, I'm going to start at 37. It says, yet for a little while and he shall and he shall come and will not tarry. Okay. okay. Let's talk about the Lord. It said, now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Now I said, the just shall live by faith. But if he draw back. Going back to that pleasing the Lord, he said his soul shall have no pleasure in him. So it, it, it's things that you, it's physical things that you can do on the earth. Going back to the question, uh, being righteous, d d d does the Lord take pleasure? In it? Yes, He does. You know, and, and that's why we're doing this work. He said, "My soul shall have no pleasure in him." Just like um, I think that's um, 
I think it's Ecclesiastes like five. I think it's like five and four when he talked about a man who vowed the vow and uh, he don't pay the vow and, and he have no pleasure in a foolish man, you know. And uh, hey, this is the biggest, biggest, biggest vow you can ever take, you know, Put, putting this yoke upon your neck, you know, coming to this truth, man. And it's, we got to pay this, this one, man, you know. We got to endure to the end, you know. It said, um, but my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So, hey, there, there you go with that, man. Oh, yeah, I had another one. This is uh, Revelations. I think it's... Yeah, Revelations 4. Revelations 4 and verse 11. It's, uh, it says, um, Thou art worthy, O Yahweh, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they were created. So they, so they were created, you know, to please the Lord, man. Do you know? The Most High created us. And you know He created Israel, the apple of His eye. So you know we supposed to please the Lord. We ain't supposed to be out here being fucking, committing adultery, being faggots, being idolaters, you know, making statues, going off into these groves, these churches, these whorehouses. That's, that's not, not, not pleasing to the Lord, man. Or being a damn dope dealer, a gangbanger. The women being lesbians, man, that's that's not pleasing to the most high. You know, but it's uh like King David said, he takes pleasure in them had to fear him and hope in his mercy, and that's all we could hope for in this uh wicked ass um 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 place, you know. That's why he said um with Abel, he said he had regard, uh I think he said regard or respect, you know. He he looked upon his his, his um his sacrifice, you know, that he made and we wanna we want to come to him sincerely and, and, and with that sacrifice, that righteous, you know, sacrifice that the Most High have regard for it. Matter of fact, I'm going to finish it with this one, you know, in the spirit. Um, this is, um, this is um, Hebrews 6 and 10. This on um, Hebrews 6 and 10. I'm going to start at 9. But beloved, we, pers we are persuaded better things of you. And things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name, all right, <laughs> his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. I mean, it's to serve, to attend to. We, we minister, you know, through the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know, pleasing him, we serve and we minister to the saints. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a service. You know, and in the Most High, you know, takes takes pleasure in that. You know, and um, and he's not gonna um be unrighteous to to um to not look upon that. So you know, hopefully we'll be able to elect and we we'll do it to the end. But with that being said, want to get all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? How about Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And hopefully this short video was edifying. Um, Shalom.